Did you have a good nap? Do you take naps? <laughs> Big napper. No, I'm sorry, I'm scaring you. <laughs> socks off for this interview. <laughs> we have a low cam on the ground for the foot people. Shall we get started? No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. No. <laughs> <It's fresh. laughs> We'd like to ask everyone to start off. Um, if you could have anything at all besides a human body, what would it be? velocity but not your position or vice well, versa? Well, it depends. Yeah, it, the, there's that, the uh, Heisenberg's like, what is it? Um, uh, uncertainty uh, principle? Uncertainty, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> uncertainty principle, which states that like if, if the more that you know um, the position of a particle, the less you know its momentum and vice versa. But um, but I'm more into Bohr. Bohr is like um, compl principle of complementarity. Okay. But that's because I was I'm highly influenced by Karen Barad. That's why. <laughs> I'm gonna nod and. I, <laughs> yeah, that was. I was looking at right, you like, oh. We're not supposed to talk about the code. So, um, what kind of plant are you? Oh, oh, this. <laughs> this thing? I, I, it's, um. You know what? No one has ever asked me that question. <laughs> what kind of plant I am? I, I want a seedling, and I'm not quite sure what it is. I think I'm, I'm from an alien race in which, like, we sprout, but we quite don't know what form we take as we grow. So I love all your friends being too polite to be like, "Do you think Jennifer knows?" No, no. <laughs> we just won't say anything. <laughs> Oh my god, don't tell anyone, but I'm gonna tell everyone right now. And I got the mirror. Do you know about the mirror workout? Yeah. Oh, like yeah. Yeah. It's like a giant eye, like wall, the uh, like wall mirror, wait, wall mirror size iPhone. It's like that, that high tech workout technology. Anyways, I got that um, at the start of the pandemic. So I've been like also. Can we see the guns? <laughs> Can we see the guns? How is it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the movie Hacker was based on news. <laughs> oh my god, I love that movie. It, after the last election, we started a, a, a Legion of Hackers for the Revolution. We totally referenced that. Movie. <laughs> right. um, please, NSA, don't come after us for supporting the revolution. It's all legal. <laughs> it's a constitutional revolution. Yeah. Um, so you seem interested in outer space. However, since the Earth is actually flat and sealed inside a dome, how does that affect your work? Oh God, flat, flat Earth. Okay. <laughs> As you can tell, in the background, it's flat. Yeah, I mean, it looks really flat behind you. <laughs> I could see the edge okay, of the I dome. 
there's no there's no curvature, there's no like depth. That's okay. I think that's fine. You know, it doesn't it doesn't really affect the my work. I think it may actually makes it more pertinent to like work towards expanding or reaching at least reaching for things that are beyond binaries, hierarchies, and capital. So if it's like flat with the dough, that's actually kind of exciting to think that there's something beyond that. So yeah, that's my answer. That's, that's a good answer. Yeah. Very good answer. Nick, how many Star Trek have you seen? <laughs> I've seen three episodes of Discovery. I was not a fan. Uh, someone recommended it to me and I was like, uh, why Why would you recommend this? <laughs> are, are we not friends? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> which is awkward because I recommend it. To me, so. Oh, sorry to yeah, yeah. Uh, not not to call you out, but you know. <laughs> sorry. I know where I stand. <laughs> Jennifer, we're under attack. Who's attacking us, or what? Oh God, uh, <laughs> capitalism, uh, interlocking of the systems, binaries, hierarchies. <laughs> We're going to change, change directions a little bit. Um, can you come up with a sound and a gesture that represents you? Oh, a sound and a gesture that represents me? Oh, shit. Um, I think that was it. <laughs> I think that was it. Because if I have to like, get up and do a gesture, I guess. What do you want? Know, I really like oh shit. <laughs> that was good. Okay, let's stick with that one. <laughs> Mine's probably just like <laughs> This is a little more serious question. What do you have an abundance of? other reality Jennifers are doing? Oh god, I hope that they're all planning to reach the 5% too, so that we can like <laughs> join first forces at some point, because that would be super helpful. So other Jennifers, I hope you're listening. <laughs> they're all planning and scheming to unite. <laughs> Except for that one so. evil version of ourselves that we all have. Speaking of serious questions, five years ago, you were a judge on the Gong Show. Do you remember that? At uh, Molly oh, Shea Puto? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. And there were two brightly colored monsters who were wrongly gonged by you at the Art Gong Show for being too violent. Would you like to take this opportunity to apologize right now? <laughs> That, that, that night has been highlighted by another event, another performance that night. So I like forgot about that, but I I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Wait, is that my thing? This is like appropriate for the, the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know about this one. <laughs> Slash diagram. What's your favorite method of, of diagramming? Oh my god, I love diagrams. Oh. Is that a question you just like ejected? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I'm... I guess I like... I mean, I like, I like tend to like Venn diagrams, I guess. You know? Yeah. But I, I like combining them. We'll see. Those other ones have... Diagram, graph, line graph. Really cool names. What are what's the one where there's all the words that people search and then there's a big one in the middle? Wait, what? <laughs> this is a cluster. Word map? I don't. It's oh, like, it's, oh, word map. Is it a word map? Yeah, like the most common. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That was why I'm on the show. I couldn't remember what that was called. <laughs> Do you have any family members you'd like to embarrass? Uh, shit. 
catchphrase. <laughs> There's that catchphrase. <laughs> No. Okay. Okay. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, family is the theme of our game. Um, we're going to play a little family feud. What is it called? Lightning round? Lightning round. Okay. So you're just going to answer these you're just going to answer these questions. Um, but it is lightning okay. round, so we're going to have a timer. You have 1 minute. Nick has a watch. He'll keep track of time. <laughs> for, the, for the whole thing. 1 minute for the yeah. whole thing. Answer any as I can. Okay. Yeah. Um Name a type of dinosaur. Uh, uh, you did. Oh my god! I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> 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 is like a T Rex a dinosaur? Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. <laughs> Next question. Name something that will exist in a hundred years. Pass or try again? <laughs> do you want to try again or do you want to pass? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, a cockroach? <laughs> what? I'm gonna go. That, that goes with it. Okay. <laughs> okay. If you could go to the land of Oz, what would you I'm ask the wizard for? Okay. okay. Oh, um, I guess, okay, uh, to, like, to exist within one realm. She's too nice for. Um. Uh, not exist in 100 years. One was immortality, so we gave you that for cockroaches. Oh, wait. And then what won't exist in 100 will years? Will exist. Will. Will. Yeah, will. Yeah, will. So, yeah. Um, yeah, the, the people surveyed were really optimistic on this one, and like... I think they were also from the 1950s. Because <laughs> yeah. um, the, the number one answer was flying cars, and the number two answer was androids. And jetpacks. Uh, yeah, because totally fifties. Wait, it's a serving cook. It's like the Jetsons. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that one you got three points. This out of five. Um, the land of Oz. We gave you all the points. Um, so that's a lot. That's ten points We're out of five. Top. What was the thing? Oh, so um, the top one was money. Uh, the next one was, oh my God, yeah, no. so sad, right? <laughs> <laughs> the second one was health. Um, the third one was a brain. They got into theme. Um, the second, second was hot bod. Um, and the last one was kind of all together, peace and love, um, uh, and magic. There were a lot of that answers for this one. one. So I lumped that one too. I would have asked for approval for a low interest loan. <laughs> um, name something you would find in a haunted house. Um, you said ghost, and that was the top answer. Um, so the other ones were cobweb, spiders, mice, and dust. Who says dust? Is for a haunted a house? Dusty haunted house. I would have said a clock. A clock. <laughs> they talk to a lot of people with OCD. They're terrified of a messy house. So. And the last one was what could an astronaut see out of the space station's window? And it was Earth was the number one answer, then the moon, then space and stars, then satellites, and then a comet. So you got, what was it, five and three is eight plus ten, 18, 23. 26 out of 25. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> you you exceeded <laughs> all the points that you could get. I like you. 
I hope so. <laughs> Get a little heart. Oh, I'm getting more. I'm getting more. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, do you have anything coming up that you want to inform our wonderful viewers about? find the revolution or join how do you join the revolution okay well you can easy you can email me and say I would like to join the revolution and I would like to join revolution school and then I will add you to the list and then you'll get emails um, of the meeting times which we meet every other Tuesday we haven't been meeting regularly because we've been working on just like the smaller group and the time panics but starting next this coming Tuesday we're gonna resume regular meetings with everyone. What's up next for the Revolution School? Personally. Well, we did apply for that, you know, that the grant that from My Little Bay um, for the LACMA Art and Tech Lab one. Yeah. So, yeah, so there's the, there's the My Little Bay, but that requires money to do some extensive stuff, but it's, it's like, like using AI, thinking about AI, like robotics and stuff like that, but we're also maybe going to work on uh, a revolution app. Are you guys going to make your own crypto and crash the economy? Hmm. I mean, that would be great to do something like that, but that's definitely within the scope of stuff that we think about in revolution school. So you do Bitcoin with two T's and people will buy it on accident. But coin, that's good marketing. Everyone likes butts. <laughs> when the show on that. <laughs> You know, I've, I've, my neighbor has uh, a motorcycle, and a lot of times, you know, he's got it going. And oh wait, I think you hear him starting up now. Hey, hey, I'm trying to do an aerial here. In the studio. Turn down the noise, please, sir. <laughs> the motorcycle vibes are just too much. Riding okay. a motorcycle in the studio. That's. I mean, as. Cool as it can get. That's yeah. really badass. I I uh, found a, a burned motorcycle uh, that was outside of my buddy's house the other day, and I was thinking of dragging it back here, um, but I couldn't <laughs> figure out. I couldn't fit it into my car, but it was totally just burned out, melted. The feet was all melted. The windshield had like pulled into this puddle. I was like hanging off this metal frame. It was it was pretty gnarly. Should have just hitched it up and dragged it. I should have just dragged it all the way back. <laughs> I love when uh, sculptures make themselves for you. It's Me safe, too. Safe uh, it's the time. best way to work, honestly, is just find your work on the side of the road. Yeah, Rauschenberg, you lazy ass. <laughs> <laughs> he stole my idea. Ooh. All right. Getting down to some serious questions. Um... We've heard you're very good at impressions. Can you show us one? Oh yeah, y'all, what's up? Check it out. I'm the Southern King. That's why I am. Just got done firing the old space laser. You know what I mean? <laughs> As I say, we either traveled 20 years in the future or 30 years in the past. <laughs> I'm not sure which direction we went. <laughs> you went forward and then backwards. Okay. Bring me us to the present. This is coming should up. We do, should we do that one first? Or is it okay. Let's build a little suspense. So, 
An actual serious question. What's the best part about UNLV's MFA program? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I guess one of the best parts is uh, definitely the freedom that we have here to pursue our research, um, the support of the faculty. Um, I also really like our, our studios. Our studios are in an old Carl's Jr. Uh, Hardee's, for those of y'all on the East Coast. Um, no East Coast that's, love, no. It's a Carl's Jr. <laughs> There's also a pet ghost cat that lives in, in the Carl's Jr. studios. Uh, you can you can ask other other students about this. There, there's confirmed ghost cat. Everyone's sick of having a body. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> essentially, yeah. Um, so, what classes do you teach at UNLV? Uh, this semester, I taught our intermediate black and white photo class, um, photo for graphic design, and our photo internship class. And then I also had some independent studies. So, a lot of photos. Sounds like a sculptor. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, this is a little bit of a follow-up. Who's your favorite student? You can tell us. It's okay. Favorite from this semester? <laughs> <laughs> They're all my favorite. There, that's the right answer. Uh, can you rank the different art medium? Painting, sculpture, photo, performance? Rank them? <laughs> yeah. Um, for me, one photo. Um, two sculpture, three painting, four performance. Um, oh, that is the wrong <laughs> answer. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, I know you're interested in memory loss in your practice, so I think this is pretty important. Uh, which Total Recall movie is the best, the original or the remake with Colin Farrell? I haven't seen them. Okay. That's all right. We were ready for this. We're going to boot them up. We have the next four and a half hours set aside. We're going to watch okay. these and come back. And we're back. Um, what was your most awkward portrait experience? Who kept blinking? Well, so I did, if you guys internet stalk me, you probably saw the portrait series I have on my website. Um, mm -hmm. That series, I asked my subjects. I photographed like 80 different people for it. Um, and I asked them what their most dominant memory was and to like talk about it to me while I prepare like the tin type plate and everything. So it was like a few minutes of them talking. And um, I had a lot of friends who did it. And like we never connected emotionally before that, but they like cried in my little studio space. So. A little awkward, but like those moments, <laughs> I really love those awkward moments. So I always enjoy when I can get my friends in a small room and start making them cry. So <laughs> that's a good time. I do. <laughs> we don't have a lot of return guests. What would you say is the best part about UNLV? The diver diverse student population is awesome here, and um, I think they teach me a lot just as much as I get to teach them. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now tell us the real answer. <laughs> do you have anything coming up that you want to do a little shout out about? I'm trying to think. I have a piece in a show in Chandler, Arizona right now. Or Take a Hike Exhibition. I think it's up until somewhere around August 15th, I want to say. Okay. Great. Everyone get out to Arizona and <laughs> take a hike. Speaking of butts, <laughs> what's the most erotic part of a pickup? Oh, a pickup truck? Oh, it's definitely a hitch. Okay. Oh, it's for sure the hitch all the way. Oh, yeah, you've got, there's so many divots, concave, convex part of, of hitching a trailer to a truck. It's, it's, and then there's like a lever that you have to put down, and there's chains and wires that plug into each other. There's so much symbolism it's in like trailer a, hitching. 
perfect one-to-one -one analogy for the human body. <laughs> perfect. I mean the ideal human body. You know, if God were to have a do-over, <laughs> we'd all have trailer yeah. hitches. Side note, when in your video when the guy is uh, digitally stimulating the hitch, I was so terrified it was going to turn into like a smut film and that hitch just collapsed onto the ball and crushed his hand. Uh, yeah. Did not go there. Sorry, spoilers. <laughs> spoilers. It's, it's PG. Maybe PG thirteen for like hinting. In you end up. It is. It is song strong sexual overtones. So yes. perfect for thirteen year olds. <laughs> it has a very Shrek energy to it. <laughs> yeah, I'm always worried when people look at my work that they're gonna expect like some extremely somber person to show up at like a, an art opening or something and then I'm just over here like giggling and cracking dad jokes and <laughs> to be honest we, we pulled it up we were like oh boy <laughs> this is gonna be tough <laughs> what is the weirdest thing you've ever found in your tea in my tea oh man uh, I guess just my tea um so my, my dentist, like, I went to the dentist for the first time in like five years uh, because I had health insurance finally when I got a doctor in the Humble brag. Me for dental insurance. <laughs> and my dentist had me do like all these like food journals and stuff. And she was like, there's nothing in here to explain why your teeth are so terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so how is your cartwheel these days? <laughs> pretty good. It's, I think my cartwheel is pretty great. But I recently got dissed. Like, I thought cartwheels were very cool and very skilled. And I had a cousin be like, anyone can do a cartwheel. <laughs> that is not true. <laughs> did they do a cartwheel? They did not. They claimed that they could. They even claimed they could do a standing back, uh, back tuck. But they did not prove it because they were 13 and too cool. <laughs> and they were an old adult who could only do cartwheels. I so, would demand proof. Okay, what's this 13 year old's name? We're calling their ass out. <laughs> We're gonna crush hey, the skin. Colin. Hey, Colin. Wait, their name is Colin? Yeah. Oh. Oh, is that your full name? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was confusing. <laughs> what can you do it all? Do you have anything coming up yes. um, that <laughs> you'd like to promote or like shout out? Um, I guess. Go to my students' capstone website. I've got nothing going on, but my students are prolific. So, um, uh, yeah, if you send us that, we'll put it right here. Okay, great. Yeah, uh, go go to that. The hovering link. They're they're very talented and very cool. And then go see your local art shows. <laughs> Invest and tip your local artists. <laughs> <laughs> you just bring okay. a twenty to our show. Yeah. Let's listen to the sewer.